How's it going out there, YouTube? So, a little interesting test today. You know, uh, we got Race Flight out, which I have not tried yet. I came across a video from Joshua Bardwell, who's what I would consider one of the tech masters, especially when it comes to software and tuning on YouTube. And he had read something or talked to Boris. Boris is the guy who developed the software for Betaflight, and Betaflight is kind of under the umbrella of the original software of Clean Flight. But Betaflight does things a lot smoother. So we started to see everybody go to Betaflight, and even most of the boards as they're shipping now are shipping with Betaflight. Well, Boris, with this kind of competition thing coming on with Race Flight, has released some information that lets you get rid of prop wash. And basically what it does in short is it opens up the filtering between the flight controller and the motors, which shortens the latency so that when you do have prop wash or you're flying in wind, the quad does not react to that. So I wanted to try that and I've been flying the Baby Hawk a lot, which you guys know if you've been watching the channel, that's like the current thing that I'm working with right now. So I wanted to try that technique through Betaflight on the Baby Hawk and see what happened, what it accomplished. One of the risks was that, you know, since you are taking out the filtering between the flight controller and the motors, you can smoke the motors. So I was very meticulous when I went through each different one of these settings and changed them. I did a 30 minute, 30 second hover test and then checked the heat of the motors. And then I went and flew for a minute beyond that and then checked the heat of the motors again and then flew an entire pack just to make sure that the motors weren't getting too hot. I had no issues as far as being able to touch the motors after doing all that with these settings changes. However, I will say for me, I noticed, yes, the prop wash was gone. Um, a big, big difference in that flying in, in 10, 15 mile hour winds made a huge difference also. But I lost my punch out. The top end was gone from the Baby Hawk. So I tried a couple different batteries, the Team Legit ones. I tried the ones that I recommended from from Amazon.com, from Sky Hobby, and both of those, the punch out, like I initially had one good, one or two good punch outs, like when I first fired up the quad, but after that, it was just, the top end was completely gone. So while I was gaining, losing the prop wash and, and, and way smoother turning, that top end was completely gone. Now, I don't know, I, I messaged Joshua about it and he said he didn't understand why that would affect you know the top end and I really don't know either so if some of you guys want to try this I've tried it with a couple different packs and I'm I've got some three S's that I'm waiting to get here and four S's too I'm gonna to upgrade the ESC's so that's still coming but I am gonna when that when that happens and I do that upgrade I'm also gonna try this again and see if maybe it's an issue with the, the 2S battery or maybe the, you know, the six amp ESCs that are come in their stock on the Baby Hawk. And it very well could just be the FEM2 flight controller. But anyhow, if you wanna try this and see what your results are, if you do try it, make sure you leave a comment. I also recommend you know, checking your motors like I did which I discussed, make sure that they're not getting hot. I didn't have any issue. I did not notice any increase in the heat of the motors. So, all right, well, here's what you would do if you wanna try this yourself. So if you wanna try this, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to CLI and you're gonna type get low pass. And that's gonna bring up your information that you wanna see. What we're looking for right here is Mine says D term underscore low pass underscore type and it's set to buy quad. And on the newest version, which I haven't updated yet, I guess the newest version of beta flight, which just came out a week or so, maybe two weeks ago, says D low pass type. So don't be confused by that. It's either one of the two. And in order to change that, you're gonna come down here to your command prompt and you're gonna type set 
D term low pass type and you're going to change it to PT1. Capital PT1, hit enter, and then that changes it to PT1. And then to continue on from there, you want to type save and hit enter. And then your beta flight is going to restart. And then the next step, and, and like I said, I recommend that you go out, fly 30 seconds, just double check your motors. Like I said, I had no heat issues, but it's on you if you don't check it and you somehow something's different and it messes up your motors. Um, the next step in this is to go to your PD, PID tuning, come to filter settings, and then come down here to gyro notch filter frequency. And it's set at 400 and we're going to change it to zero. And then I recommend once again, go check, make sure your motors aren't getting hot. Make sure you hit save then go check it and then come back. And then the next step, the, th the third step after that, which I've done is to come down here to gyro notch filter two frequency and change that also to zero. And then click save. So that's, you will definitely notice that the prop wash is gone. Um, if you have your, your PIDs already changed and tweaked a little bit, you may have, you may find yourself, depending on how high you have them set, you may want to retweak your PIDs. But like I said, for me, my punch out was gone. I don't understand why that is. Um, if, if you guys figure that out, I'm going to continue to do some more testing with it. But as of right now, I've gone back to the original way that it was set up because the punch out was gone and I need my top end. So I'm still going to tweak with it or whatnot. But as of right now and the testing that I've done today, it's not worth giving up the top end to lose the prop wash oscillation. So like I said, if you guys have better success or you notice that it's something different in the PIDs or if you're running a 3S, and maybe that's the difference, and I haven't got my three S's yet that I ordered, let me know. Please leave a comment down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Something interesting to try, and especially maybe if you have another quad, this is a great thing to do, and to make sure you test your motors, your heat, but it increases the performance on a lot of other quads, just for me, not the Baby Hawk. All right, guys, the sewed out. Happy flights.